In today's video, we'll be showing you how you notify the DVLA you sell a vehicle. First, you'll need your logbook. This video is mainly showing what to do when selling it online, especially using your mobile phone. Here you can see what I searched to find, the gov.uk website. Next, you go onto this page and go to Start Now. As you can see, it'll ask you if you're a motor trader. Usually, you're going to click No here. Then on the next page, it's going to be asking if you sold your vehicle, put it in someone else's name, scrapped or written off, or if you bought it. You're going to be putting sold. Then it will give you the option, did you sell it privately or to a motor trader? We're going to be showing you both options here. And first I'm going to be showing you if you sold it to a motor trader, such as us at All Vehicles Wanted. Then you'll click on this and go to the next step. In this stage it will show you if you use the yellow or the green slip. It's the yellow for a trader. In here you'll be putting the trader's name and the postcode, then passing it on. Obviously I can't show you all the way to the end in today's video. In the second part I'll be showing you how to do it if you sold it to a private person. And in this you'll be using the green slip new keeper. And again, you enter the details off your logbook, which you had at the start of the video. And you'll be putting the person's information in. You can also get confirmation via email by selecting yes in these boxes and entering an email. You can do your own or the person that you're selling the car to. Again, I'm not able to show the whole video here, but you just go through the stages and it's quite an easy process. If you were to do this via post, you do the yellow slip for a motor trader and the green slip if you're doing it to a private person or a private sale. In the rest of this video, I'll be showing you how to do change your name on your logbook or address or both. If you go to the Gov website, again, it shows you all you need to do. And if you need to see any of this, pause the video to stop, look exactly what you need to do. It shows you a lot easier way. Usually you have to send the logbook to the DVLA and I'd recommend doing this if you're unsure. The address, as you can see, is at the bottom of the video. DVLA Swansea, SA991DD. And what I usually do is in brackets say exactly the reason why you're sending that letter to the DVLA. So change of ownership, change of address, or anything along those lines. Um, next we're looking at what to do in other scenarios, obviously, because sometimes it is just change of name, sometimes it's change of address, sometimes it can be both. I think it says you don't need to notify DVLA with proof of change of name if you've got married, which could be a very good reason for changing your name. But again, pause on here or go onto the gov website if you need any more information. Usually it's free, but there are times when you can need to make a postal checkout for £25 as well. I hope this video has been helpful and thank you very much for watching.